What's going on everyone? I'm Daniel Rodriguez and it's time for me to review another movie. This film stars Kevin Spacey, Jennifer Garner, and Christopher Walken. I'm just going to give you the pros, cons, final score, tell you whether or not you should go check this out in theaters, wait for rental, or maybe just never see this movie at all. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here is my non-spoiler review for Nine Lives. So without spoiling much of the film, Kevin Spacey plays Tom Brand. He's rich. He owns a company. He's a horrible husband, horrible father. He buys this cat for his daughter's birthday from Christopher Walken. Somehow he's teleported or transferred into this cat's body. Now he is a cat. In some way he must redeem himself one way or another. The only thing I could say that may be positive about this film barely is some of the effects. There are only certain shots of the cat that is CGI that actually works. Now 95% of Nine Life looks like it was filmed entirely in front of a green screen. The first few shots of this film is so bad where it makes you laugh. It even made all the parents in the theater laugh. There are also a few side storylines in this film that just aren't interesting. And to top it off, those side storylines really have no ending in the film, so just a lot of plot holes with the side storylines and in the main storyline. Another problem with this film is the pacing. It gets boring real quick. I believe for the most part the first 25 minutes was just a bunch of corporate talk. The acting is also atrocious in this film. It's like none of them even tried. Robbie Amell tried a little bit to do some, you know, emotional gripping stuff, but the movie was already dead in the water by then. Now, usually the great Kevin Spacey is better than this, and his voice acting, sure, while his voice is awesome for the cat and everything, there are a few jokes that kind of work when he is the cat, but for the most part, this film literally feels like it should have came out in 2004, 2005. This film doesn't belong in 2016. This is back, like, this feels like it was supposed to pe compete with Garfield. Mark Consuelos plays the villain, and he is shit. And if I had a dime for every time they said skyscraper in this film, I would have my money back. The only great thing about this film is the ending, where it just goes to black, and there's like elevator music. There's not even real no music at all. It just says directed by whatever schnook did this one. Uh, but it just goes to black and then it has n re really low music. It's nothing exciting and it ends abruptly. The film literally ends like... <laughs> and then you're thinking to yourself, you're like, what did I just see? So basically, long story short, shit, 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 shit. Oh, that was funny. Shit, shit, shit. All right, I gotta put my two cents in right now, and I'm not trying to tell you how to be parents and everything, but you would be a better parent taking your kids to sausage party than this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and my poor wallet that took a big blow to the balls watching this film, I'm giving Nine Lives a 1.5 out of a 10. Is Nine Lives worth watching in general? No. In theaters? No. In rental? No. And I love cats. I don't own a cat, sadly. I wish I did. But if you're a huge cat fan and you're interested in seeing this film because of cats, um, rental. Wait for rental and just hold your breath because this film is, uh, it's like cat and dog shit mixed together and, it's, you know, it's like, oh my god, is that pudding? But it's not because it's dried, it's that dried up dog shit and it's like gonna, in your backyard and everything and you step on it and you're like, I just stepped on shit, but it's not wet shit. It's more like a dry turd that has cracks in it and you're like, is that dirt? No, it's a ball of dirt. No, it's a ball of shit because that's what this film is. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Comment down below to know what you guys thought about Nine Lives. You could share this with your friends, and you could hit that subscribe button for more. Do not forget, every single week, any new movie release that comes out in theaters, I will be reviewing on the channel. Link down below to my playlist of all uh, movies I've reviewed in 2016. Over 90 films, so check it out down below. Until next time, love you all. Nine lives, you just, I want my money back so bad. I paid six bucks for it. Till next time, bye-bye.